Hey, 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 today there's a great, great video by Marie Forleo, which if you're not subscribed to her channel, you really, really should check it out, especially if you have your own business, but she gives amazing advice. So, the video that I'm talking about, she was talking about the fear of being judged, right? And I've, I've dealt with that for a very long time. It's been such a struggle for me. And I love some of the points that she made. And one of them, which I've believed for a while, and I've seen in my own life and in my clients' lives, is that sometimes people judge us for things that we judge ourselves for, right? Or, you know, it's not that they only judge you for that, but that's what hurts the most. When people judge you for something that you haven't accepted about yourself, right? Something that maybe you don't like about yourself that you would hide on the side if you could and just not show to anyone. And when someone brings that up, right? When someone's a mirror for you, reflecting that back to you, that just like kind of like triggers those little buttons in us, right? And I can definitely relate to the fear of going through that, of being judged by someone, especially, for example, she talked about business and stuff, like people around you that you love, friends, family, right? Your partner. When you're trying to pursue your passion, and it's not easy, right? Sometimes I like to face my fears to kind of see why I'm so afraid of them and why, just, I don't know, to understand it better, to understand myself better. So that's when I started my YouTube channel. I was terrified of making a video and putting that online. I was insanely scared of doing that. And, but something in me wanted to do it and I wanted to kind of face that fear and see what was going on behind it. And, now I forget where I was going with that, but where the hell was I going with that? Now I'm going to have to edit something, otherwise the video is going to be like 15 minutes long. I forget where the hell I was going with that, but another thing is too is that I was afraid of other people judging me, right? Especially my family, I think, if I'm honest with myself. and. It's things that, I believe, things that we don't accept about ourselves that we're so afraid of putting that out to the world and being judged back, right? Maybe if you don't like your sense of humor, you're way less likely to try to make a joke out in public, right? If you don't like your body image, right? When someone judges you on that or when you think someone's judging you on that, Oh my God, that really hurts. I know it hurts, right? And is that thing of never feeling like you're good enough. Maybe that's underneath a lot of those issues, right? She shared two points that I liked, um, which I've seen in my own life too. First is don't, don't assume that they're judging you, right? This has happened a lot with my family that I assumed they were judging me, but it was actually them not knowing enough about it, right? And when I actually took the time to explain things to them and maybe open up more and just share what was in my heart, what my vision was, what my dream was, and that kind of thing, they were like, wow, that's pretty cool, right? And I thought they were judging me initially because of like little comments or whatever. And that just triggered, like instantly triggered little buttons in me, right? Um, and the second thing she shared was she said to not chase people's approval, right? And oh my God, I've really struggled with that one. I, I'm always, let me rephrase that. I, I have in the past and sometimes I do, of course. I'm, I'm still growing and going through this and I'm, and I'm only human, right? But always chasing that approval from people, especially those close to me. But I remember in the past when I, I was posting a lot of videos on Facebook and I was, this was a while ago, but I would post the video 
and just like stay in my phone, like just stare at the phone, waiting for the likes to come in, the comments, the shares, and just obsessed about that, right? And it's insane how it was chasing that approval. And I think we become more attached to that. There was a point when I was like, wait, is this how I really want to live my life? Is this how I want to lead my business and try to impact the world? Always worrying about what other people are going to think about me? Because I know it's not easy if you're someone who puts yourself out there to inspire others, help others, change the world. It's not easy. It's not easy to do it. And but here's one thing that I can share with you. On my journey, right? I've shared a lot of things on Facebook um, that were very personal, that were more about my struggles and things like that, which a lot of them were not easy to post. And one thing that I imagined was, this could be my imagination, but kind of based on the experiences that I've had, I always imagine, like especially other guys from high school, right? Watching my videos and being like, wow, what a little girl or something like, he's sharing all those emotional things. And, and uh, I was always like, for some reason that was in the back of my mind, like, I bet you they're judging me. Like, I know they're judging me, right? That's how my mind was working, but I talked to another coach, we had a session with another coach, and I told him, like, he was having that struggle, right? He wanted to start making a lot more videos, but he was afraid of judgment. And I told him, like, I swear to God that it's not easy. I still worry maybe sometimes about judgment. I still worry about what people might think. But it's so worth it when maybe if... 50 people, 100 people laugh at me, make fun of me because of maybe even the same video you're watching right now. If a thousand people make fun of me and call me names and whatever BS they want to say, but one person tells me how one little idea on this video changed their life or changed their perspective or gave him that inspiration they needed to take their dream that's inside of their heart, they're waiting to come out and explode and just come out to the world. If one person tells me that what I said, what I did, what I communicated, help them with that, then it's so worth those thousand other people making fun of me. And I truly mean that because I've made videos that I get beautiful personal messages on the media videos that I made on Facebook and it's so worth it. That's one of the most fulfilling things about what I do, I think, right? And I've heard people say, like, don't get attached to feedback, like, whether positive or negative. But why? Like, why? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to inspire. So if I get a, a beautiful message, why not let that inspire me? That, that, I don't know. That doesn't resonate with me when people say that. I, I can understand their logic, but so that you don't get attached to the negative feedback. But... It's okay, because guess what? Based on what I just shared, I truly hope that this inspires at least one person. If, if it helps one person, then I'm happy. And all of those of you that might want to make fun of me, might want to say some BS down here in the comments, please go ahead, I don't mind. And if you do, just... I don't mean to be rude, but from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, I don't give a fuck about your negative comments. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes they might affect me, but there's a much bigger purpose than, than that for what I do. Um, I'm gonna be sharing a lot more about my struggles and my journey and all that, so I know it's gonna help people because I've seen that with clients and people around me so I think it's a, a balance of okay the fear of judgment and the impact I can have and I believe maybe with more 
possibility of judgment, there's also more possibility of impact that I can have on you, right? I don't want to be loved by everyone. I used to want that, but that's not even possible, not even real, not even... Because then it wouldn't be me. I would try to be a character who, in my point of view, fits exactly what you want to see from me. But fuck that shit, I did it for too long and it's not fun at all. It's not what I want to do, it's not how I want to move forward with my business, my YouTube channel, my, my life. I'm exhausted from doing that, from trying to be someone who I'm not. So, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Maybe I'll do it even more. The more I expose myself, maybe the more immune I get to judgment. Because to be honest, most of the time now I don't give a shit about the negative stuff I, 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 receive, I receive on uh, on messages sometimes. Which doesn't mean much, which is interesting. Um, but I guess that's it. I, I don't know what else I was going to share. I know there was more, but... This video is probably getting long, I don't know, I can't see the time there. Um, but that's it, that's it. I, I, I know judgment sucks, I know judgment really, really sucks. But I swear that the more you can accept yourself, right? I, I'm, a, I'm a clown, I'm very, very playful and silly and funny. And I'm getting to a point where I can actually accept that and be that way with everyone in public, right? It's not easy, it's not easy because I've been terrified of judgment and I swear when I say terrified, I mean terrified. Um, I could only be that clown with my family. I, 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 there was no way that I could do it out in public. But the more I accept that part of me, that's me, that's who I am, right? And not because I'm trying to be accepted by people because I fucking hate myself and I need to get others to like me so that I can finally accept myself. I'm, I've worked on self-worth and self-acceptance and all that stuff, right? So I feel like the more you go through that, the more you accept yourself, the more you start liking yourself, the more you start appreciating yourself, and the more you start loving yourself. I feel like that fear of judgment kind of slowly, 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 I don't know if I should say disappears, but it, it becomes a lot easier, I think, on your journey. And who knows, my point of view might change, and I, I'm sure that as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to have more ideas that I wanted to share with you. But I don't want to make it too long. And uh, maybe I'll make more. Let me know in the comments below if you, if you want me to make a similar video on a similar topic. Because I find these things fascinating. I just, to me, they're really, really interesting. And when I have sessions with clients about these kinds of things, I really, really enjoy the sessions. Like, I really enjoy exploring these topics with a person so let me know let me know in the comments below if you want to uh, if you want more videos about that and uh, oh I'll make, uh, yeah like I said I'll put a link to her video which I thought was cool and her channel is amazing so definitely check it out subscribe and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and if you want to see what's coming up because I'm gonna make a ton more videos hopefully to help you and inspire you and make your journey even better so Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, that helps a lot, right? Helps my channel grow so that I can get my message out there to more people and be judged by more people and uh, improve my relationship with judgment. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everything. Appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and hope you have a, a beautiful, beautiful day. Peace out.